Well, I was born in Terry, Montana in 1952. Son number four, I like to call it, of five boys. And then we had three sisters that came in, the, in, the, in after that. When I was about five years old, we moved to Scapoose, Oregon. My dad, Oscar Strobel, was a, uh, he was a uh, carpenter, built houses. My mom, Bretta, uh, stay-at-home mom and, and took care of eight kids, which is just an amazing thing. My oldest brother, Bob, who's 10 years older than me, was in high school, and he started wrestling. And that's what really got me into wrestling, because being 10 years younger, I was seven, and I did that youth wrestling stuff along with, um, along with some baseball and soccer and those kind of things. So that's really how I got started in sport. But I didn't formally start wrestling until the ninth grade. Uh, informally wrestling, of course, on the living room floor all the time. Mom and Dad neither pushed us to do anything. If we wanted to do it, you could. If you didn't want to do it, that's okay. Uh, the only attitude they had was, whatever you do, do it as the best you can. Or as they used to say, the, whatever you do, do it as unto the Lord. I was gifted right at the start in high school wrestling because I'd been wrestling with my older brothers and younger brother from day one. My sophomore year, I lost one match to a three-time state champ, uh, Roland Schimmel, uh, and I won the state tournament. I, uh, actually, the coach asked if I could go 190. I weighed about 175. And I wrestled 190. I won the state tournament, barely. My senior year, I was undefeated and, again, a, a state champ. So I was a three-time state champ. I was recruited nationally by Oklahoma State, and Iowa State. University of Washington had a really good team back then. But I chose Oregon State. Uh, Dale Thomas came up to visit me, and not much of a recruiting trip. He just came up. We visited, and, and I, I chose Oregon State right there. A couple reasons. Dale Thomas had a great record. They had a great team. I knew who was on their team. And I really frankly said to myself, I'd rather wrestle with them in the room than against them for another team. And that was a wise decision because they had a, I got beat every week in practice, and yet I was undefeated my last two years in college. But every week, somebody would, on that team would beat me. That's how good they were. My junior year was interesting because I had some come-from-behind matches. Strobel, undefeated in competition throughout the year, 38 straight. Johnson only lost one out of 28. Kincraft, these are two strong, fast. Oh, there's a throw by John Johnson putting Strobel right flat on his back. And they're off the edge. Strobel Clock couldn't get out. If he gets that arm outside. Reversal by Strobel. Take down by Strobel. 8 7 Strobel. Strobel in again. And what a comeback by Greg Strobel of Oregon State. He now leads 10 to 7. Greg Strobel will be the NCAA champion at 190 pounds. And what a match. My senior year, Dale Thomas told me, he said, you got to change your wrestling, you got to change your style because they're going to be scouting you. And I did wrestle differently. Pretty much held my own my senior year. Uh, Al Mason was one of the best ones that I went against that year. And then I wrestled Ben Ojai in the finals. And I think that was our eighth meeting uh, in college. So uh, senior year, great year. Uh, it was just fun, fun to be on the team. I got hurt, uh, really damaged my neck, had a concussion, spent time in the hospital, and really never came back from that. I did try out for the 76 Olympic team and, and did go back to Brockport for that, but just never reached that next level. I met my wife Donna uh, at the end of my freshman year in college. We, we started dating and went out the whole time, got married in 1974, right after I finished my eligibility. Um, 1976, my first daughter Jennifer was born. My second daughter Christine was born in 1978. And I, I tell you what, blessed all the way through. Donna was a good supporter. It's tough on family, it's tough on wives especially. You know, the husbands are gone all the time, always recruiting. And wherever I could, I tried to in include my family with, with what we did. Doing a wrestling clinic down in California just convinced me that I wanted to be a, a teacher and a coach. So I came back to school, changed my major, got a teaching degree, uh, and became a high school coach. And uh, my first coaching job was in Roseburg, Oregon. I really tried to incorporate into my coaching philosophy a philosophy of wrestling is fun if you structure it right and you put a lot of variety into it. And so I really tried doing that for my whole coaching career. Uh, after three and a half years at Roseburg, I, I went up to Oregon State to be the assistant coach for Dale Thomas. Uh, I was there for three years and got an opportunity to go to work for USA Wrestling. Steve Combs had called and, and said they were looking for a national teams director. 
Uh, U.S. Wrestling had just gotten the national governing body status, and so made the big move to Stillwater, Oklahoma in 1983, and that was a big move for us. Uh, as such, it was really cool. I got to work the 84 Olympic Games. My wife got to work the 84 Olympic Games. I spent brief times there as, a, as the national coach also. During the 88 Games, uh, I was named uh, the team leader for Greco. And uh, that was a great experience going over there and being team leader, working with both Greco and freestyle teams uh, in Seoul. Uh, in 92, uh, by that time, I started working for Team Foxcatcher. And um, I went to uh, Barcelona as a volunteer and really worked with Bruce Baumgartner mainly, but others. And uh, that was a good experience too. And then in 96, I was named the official assistant coach. Joe C was the head coach. And um, in 2000, uh, named head coach or co-head coach with Dan Gable and, and John Smith. And then I closed out my Olympic stuff, my sixth Olympics, as a volunteer coach uh, in uh, Athens coaching uh, Kerry McCoy. He's one of the uh, better coaches out there in terms of whether wrestling uh, coaches are, is an art or a science. And uh, he was one that used both. In 95, I was approached and asked if I would be interested in the job at Lehigh University. And I jumped at the chance. It was a chance to get back into college coaching, which was what I wanted to do from day one. And the opportunity to come to Lehigh was really neat because Lehigh is a unique wrestling uh, place to be a wrestling coach. Um, they really, really appreciate wrestling here. It's almost like a religion to them. And uh, so I came in, their program had been down, and my job was to build the program, and, and we did. We, uh, it took us a few years, I think it was five years before we won the Easterns, but we ended up winning the Easterns six times in my 13 years at Lehigh, five in a row, which tied a record at the time. And uh, I think we had 30 All-Americans, a couple national champs, and I got to work with some great kids and great coaches too. I was fortunate to work for Greg for eight years here at Lehigh as an assistant coach. Um, he brought a lot of positive energy, great, he was great technical uh, skills, uh, tactical skills also. Um, it, was a, it was a great time for me. The one thing I can say is that I still learn from him all the time. Um, I learned from him as an athlete and I now learn from him as a coach. And so it's been, it's been kind of good. You know, I, I liken Strobel to a two-year-old because he sees everything like it's He's seeing it for the first time and he gets so excited about it. What I really enjoyed was developing the kids and, and uh, hopefully having significance in their lives. It wasn't just the winning and the losing, it was really making something good happen here. And, uh, a ph phenomenal experience. Well, I am truly honored and, uh, and humbled by this opportunity to, uh, to be a distinguished member of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's, it's an honor that I never really expected. Uh, I just pursued wrestling because I loved it. And uh, to have this honor uh, just really is amazing to me and, I, and I'm thankful.